trying to ward off the evil eye for um, obvious reasons. Do you think with my pointy ears I could pull off an industrial, or would that just make me look more like Fat Boy from the Weekly Brothers? Uh, it's an industrial. It's the one that goes across here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, sandalwood, tonka bean, vanilla, and vetiver. And all I get is... <laughs> what? It's vetiver. Vetiver? Vetiver. Yeah. No, I'm going to start saying all of... I'm going to start saying every word. Hey, what's up? It's me. It's Richard. I'm back with another video. So today is a really special uh, video. I haven't done anything like this on my channel before. <laughs> uh, my friend Greg is here with me. We work together. Right off the bat, we found out we had things in common, like um, we liked Tina Turner, and um, we have certain movies in common. Uh, and then we found out that there's things that like make us very unique that we don't share. And I found out that Richard really likes fragrances, and I knew nothing about them. So Richard has been uh, guiding me through the world of fragrances, so I stopped smelling like a gross person. Yes, no smelling gross. So we do have a lot of things in common. I guess Tina Turner is one of them. Is there other things? Oh, the first thing we bonded over was Delight and Anita, ba Anita Baker. Oh my God, Anita Baker. Yeah. That's a huge one. I love Anita Baker so much. I just got this t-shirt quilt made of like um, all of like the concert t-shirts I bought throughout the last like 10 years and it like you send it off and they make it into a quilt. And I am like so impressed that there's three uh, Anita Baker squares. What's exciting about today's video is we are going to go through the whole zoologist collection. We have samples of every single one and then some travel sprays. Greg went and bought the zoo. He bought the whole thing. I just want to say overall, having smelled all of them, I like zoologists, great company. I look forward to every, every new product you make. Um, some of these just aren't good for me um, and like a whole lot of them. Uh, are really special. The one award winner. Or this one is of a famous one. Winners. Yeah, so this is really famous. It's called Squid. Um, first of all, uh, the way Zoologist uh, makes all of their products is they're all named after different animals, and the ingredients in them are um, supposed to be things that would be in the natural environment of those animals, whether they're um, mammals, under the water, uh, extinct. Um, so this one's called Squid, and it's supposed to smell like things that are in the deep ocean. Um, the liquid is blue, which I re really appeals to me. I can't explain why just the color of a liquid makes me get like all excited. Oh, people will understand. Oh yeah, okay, cool. I know that squid was reformulated. Oh. So this is the new oh. version of squid. I don't know why it was reformulated. Sometimes they, like, I know zoologists sometimes just recreates a fragrance. They want to like, you know, create a different environment for the animal. Do you know what I mean? Oh, and then that's cool because then it makes the older one extra expensive online. Yeah, yeah, it'll make yeah. it very special. Yeah. Sometimes it's because, like, an ingredient isn't available anymore. Sometimes they just want to, whatever. There's lots of reasons things could be reformulated. Oh, so I'm this just, is... Oh. This is a new squid. Oh! Yeah. It's sweet and spicy. This is sweeter than I thought it would be. Yeah, and then as it dries, it just, like, it stays kind of, like, spicy. Oh. Okay. Tell me if this is totally wrong and if my memory is skewed, but does it remind you a bit of Obsession by Calvin Klein? No, not okay. at all. I do get a dried bag of rice smell, plastic bagged rice. You want me to read out the, the notes? Yeah, you can do that. Top notes are pink pepper and incense. Heart notes are black ink accord, salty accord, and opoponax. 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 Uh, <laughs> next pet's name. Uh, base notes, benzoin, musk, and uh, ambergris. Okay, I like it. Yeah, it's intense. I don't think it's that intense. I think it's sweet. I guess I get, I don't actually even get an inkiness. Do I like it? Yeah. Is this giving me like squid vibes? I don't think so, but it's gorgeous. This might be sweeter than one would expect. It's almost like got a little bit of a, like almost like caramel, but it's not, it's not caramel, but it's, it's, it's like sweet and syrupy in a way. I don't even really get the salt. I get like incense, sweetie, musky benzoin. Fragrant gum resin obtained from a tropical East Asian tree used in medicines, perfumes, and incense. I get resin. I, I get resin. I can picture it coming from a tree. I guess the question is, does it need to be reformulated again? Like, do you think this when you think squid? Aside from it smelling good, do you think it should smell more like dead fish and sea foam and stuff? No, but I think it could be saltier. It's still really wonderful. Like, I think the thing about zoologists is like, everything's so good, so it's really just a matter of like, 
the smells that you like and uh, smells that you like a bit less. But obviously everything is like super high quality and like expertly crafted. This one, it's called Hyrax. Um, I was really impressed by it, but also like really alarmed and like overwhelmed by it. I, I would really like to smell it on somebody else. Um, maybe not on myself. Top notes are Elemi, Pink Pepper, Saffron, Turkish Rose. Um, base notes, Amber, Ooh. Benzoin, Tonka Sive, Patchouli, Sandalwood. Heart notes are African Stone, Hyacinth, Styrask, Styrax, and Whiskey. This is really good. Oh, this is like <laughs> making me feel like, woo! This is like, yeah, really, oh, this is amazing. Oh, oh okay, this is like, oh, it's like, it's like fucking like concrete, fucking uh, woody, smoky. It's gritty. Oh, it's just so sexy. It's so butch. It is really butch. I, I, shock, shocker, I'm not butch. I am probably. I yeah. guess. No, <laughs> I watched you put it. I watched you put a table together. It was shockingly butch. <laughs> uh, butch queen. First thing I said was concrete. African stone is in the heart notes. Yes, and it's um, not commonly used in fragrances. It's in the write-up. And some fragrances, and this has it a little bit. I smell like olives. Olives are like olive juice. But there's a pungentness to it. Yeah, there is a pungent smell in there. I, I think you're not off. Hmm. Amazing. Okay, so uh, this is a love for me. I would totally wear this. Um, what would you wear it with? Where would you wear it to? Uh, I would wear it on the weekends in the winter. What colors does it go with? Mm, anything, because like you could wear like a cashmere camel like sweater, mm -hmm. and then some like all black, whatever. It doesn't matter. This is something that you can get with zoologists, which is really cool. And I think a, some other uh, places are starting to do this kind of thing, where you can like choose your own sets. Where I first discovered zoologist uh, fragrances was in New York at this place called Perfumery. I've smelled some of these, but not a lot because I don't know. I was smelling a million other things when I was there, but I have beaver, camel, civet. Elephant and rhinoceros. Um, it's actually my husband's because the ones I always wanted and don't have yet, um, and I'm excited to smell today, is like koala, um, uh, moth, I want a small dragonfly, bat. Um, yeah, but he really loves all of these, and these are the ones he chose. Rhinoceros, so I know what this one smells like, but I, I will remember when I sniff it. Oh. Oh. That's really good. After I get like a tea smell in this. I totally get tea from it. Oh my god, I get like a really, like, tea. Oh, it's good. It's good. Oh, I think he must not wear this that often because I haven't smelled this a lot. It's peppery. There's something like, like, like whiskey, coffee-ish about it. Mm. Actually, I think whiskey is in the notes. Let's read them. I'm getting something a little bit, mm, like, woody hay. Um, and it's smelling yeah. like dried grass dirt. Base notes include patchouli, oak moss, amber. Heart notes have leather. Um, right. Synthetic, there are no uh, animal products used in Zoologist. Um, incense, tobacco absolute, and ylang ylang. Mm, tobacco, tobacco, tobacco. That's what I'm getting. Um, top notes are pink pepper, whiskey, coffee, rum, and basil. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting tobacco. It's butch. Yeah. You know what? I don't know if I like this one. It goes to the barnyard for me. For me, it's... um, Which I don't mind pungent barnyardy smells, but this one, out of all the millions of ones in the world, no. I'm excited to smell this one. Uh, this one right here, Dodo. Um, well, first of all, I think it's really cool that Zoologist has two fragrances that are um, conceptualized around extinct animals, because um, it just makes me go, like, how could you even figure out what would be in their environment? How can you conceptualize this? Um, this wow. one is... I would never think of that. This one again. is so... So quirky, so weird, and I love putting it on. It really, like, it, it's a, that scent where I put it on, I feel like it, it's, it matches my personality. Okay, I think I'm gonna love yeah. this. Let's get the stinker on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I love it. Do I love it? <laughs> I love oh, it. Oh, I don't. <laughs> I love it. Do I love it? It just smells like oh, a swamp. Oh, this smells like pee, piss, and B.O. See, I get it like. It literally smells like cat piss. <laughs> I get like. Really with, awesome summary, like like luncheon in the grass, um, like that movie I Am Love, the sex scene in the forest. Like I get it's swampy, changing. soily. Now I'm getting like a fish moss soup. I don't like it. Oh, I'm such a fan. Anyway. I don't know if this is going to work with your own body odors. Um, 
And will you describe for your fans, for your followers, what my body, Ooh. my resting body odor is? Uh, it has a name. Yeah, he calls it cod cakes. Uh, I'm like, I wouldn't <laughs> go around saying I smell like fish, but uh, he <laughs> likes to <laughs> say that. Well, you it's know accurate. <laughs> oh, oh, you're a fan of it. <laughs> I really don't like this. Richard's not a fan. I'm a huge fan. I wear this one all the time. It's a favorite from the zoologist family. The way of the dodo. That means goodbye. Um, oh, all I can smell is, it literally smells like cat piss. I have four cats. I just want to, so I know what that smells like. Um, I, I mean, I'm, I'm like, what's the word where you're just, I'm diligent about like the litter box to do it every day. Um, but literally dodo smells like doo-doo. I don't like it. <laughs> it. Smells like doo doo. I don't like it. That's a good hashtag. And I still smell it, so I can smell. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. This is the first one that I smelled from zoologists that I that I couldn't stand. Oh, I it, love camel. It smells like funeral parlor lilies. Okay, um, so I already have camel, and I, I have to say I wanted like. to love it because I love camels. I think they're just beautiful, mysterious creatures. It smells like like funeral parlor perfume. It smells unremarkable to me, and which is too bad because I love camels. He loves it. I love. I it. don't. Yes, as, you're, thing. as you're gonna see, uh, Richard and I have very different tastes in, in smells already. Um, and I'm glad it's for some people. It's a really popular one. It's one of the ones that sells out the most. You know what I just remembered is that sort of travel spray pack that we have. Um, yeah. So you can choose your own now on the Zoologist website. And yes. at some like fragrance shops, you can still do it that way. But when we bought that at Perfumery, it was already put together. So I don't know if Travis loves this, if he loves this, and or what. Um, I've liked it before, but you know what? And I don't know if the dodo just like threw me right off, but um, yeah, I don't like this either. I wouldn't buy it. This one, I absolutely love. Uh, macaque. This is another animal. Why did I say it? Macaque? I deserve an apology. No, I'm just gonna edit it out. <laughs> so this is another animal that I had to look up because um, there's so many animals in the world, you can't know all of them. Uh, it's a kind of monkey. Pop notes are Japanese yuzu, mandarin, Whoa. juniper berry. Wow. Heart notes are myrrh, hinoki wood, hydrocarbon, resin, New Caledonia, sandalwood, oak moss, absolute, olibanum, hyper absolute. Gorgeous, love it. Perfect. It's so good. It's fresh, oh. it's bright. It's fruity, it's tarty. It's tart. It's amazing. It's so good. It's very clean. It's, uh, does a monkey really smell like this? I don't know, I just picture them like always touching their like. <laughs> <laughs> and then smelling it. Yeah, yeah. Like, just like I picture them <laughs> like a, doing a lot of that and <laughs> flinging their shit around, but maybe they don't do that. I think everything I've heard about a monkey is pretty nasty. I'm liking this less and less. Oh, I love it more and more. I actually wear this one a lot because it really fits like humid summer days in Toronto. I could see that, but I'm, once again, just like getting something pissy out of this and dry it out. I'm so sorry. I appreciate everything though. It takes yeah. a lot of work to do all of this. I know that. Yeah. It's just like um, what I'm selling. And like my nose is broken. I'm going for a nose surgery in like a month. So yeah. yeah. This is bad. Uh, bad. It smells. It smells like a like a Ralph Lauren clone, like something that goes with a polo shirt. Uh, it's a bit broy. It's cool for me. Start smelling it. These notes are animalic notes. Uh, synthetic, of course. Leather, vetiver, vetiver, mossy stones, teak wood. Heart notes are hay, incense, minerals, night blooming jasmine. Top notes are passion fruit, pink guava, fig, and soil accord. So I don't get the fig. I don't get the guava or the passion fruit. Um, I'm getting a tropical fruit. Okay. I like it. Is this weird? But I feel like this is a, like one of the softer ones. Oh, I find it, um, uh, like, I find it turned up. I think it's turned up. Okay. Yeah. I like it. I wouldn't buy a full bottle of it. Panda. Uh, this one, I absolutely love. Oh, you do? Okay. Yes. I'm wearing it right now. You are. Uh, it is so good. There's so much going on in it. It's sweet. It's, um, it's, it's earthy. It's grassy. It, uh, I really like the greeny kind of smells, and this one I'm really into. Can I say smells, or is it always scents and fragrances? No, you can say whatever you want. Uh, sandalwood, vanilla, musk, kivet, heart so notes. Oh, <laughs> Vetiver. Um, heart notes are amber, earthy notes, jasmine, orris, and patchouli. Wow. Top notes, apple. I smell the apple for sure. Magnolia, mandarin, lily, osmanthus, ozone, and tea. Yeah, I just, I'm getting uh, all those things you just mentioned. Yes. 
This is amazing. It's so good. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's, it smells so good. I do get like a fruity, sweet, even a bit caramelly. Shouldn't I get eucalyptus? No, that's koala. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what do they eat bamboo? Koala. They eat bamboo. Okay, okay. And they never mate, and that's why they're all dying. They never mate. I really like it. But actually, yeah. I wouldn't buy a full bottle. Moth. Wasn't a fan. I really wanted to just, I feel like the, the animal really goes with my personality. I think I'm a mothy person, like into things that look really weird up close. Um, moth balls. Moth balls. I, I just, it, when I smelled it, it just smelled like basic, um, like everyday cosmetic products, like, like bad hand creams. Okay. Um, so give it a smell. I have to say, I really love the illustration. Like some of these illustrations are really good. This one's one of my favorites. Base notes are honey, resins, uh, musk, patchouli, oud, smoke, vetiver, ambergris. I don't like this at all. No, no. It's just pow- it's really powdery. It smells like a lady's secret. Um, her- uh, uh, like, there are lipstick scents, like powdery scents and scents that smell like makeup, and they don't smell like this. Oh, like powder you know can be good? Yeah, you know what's okay. giving this? The honey in here is making it smell like body parts. Our notes are heliotrope, iris, jasmine, mimosa, rose, Top notes, black pepper, cinnamon, clove, cumin, lemon, nutmeg, saffron. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. I would never want to smell like this. This one is popular. Uh, B is one of the ones online where you're not allowed to buy in a, in a five set more than one of it because it's like apparently going like gangbusters. It's expensive um, too. It's more expensive than the other ones. It is. Like buy like, a, like $10 or more a bottle. Yeah. Um, uh, it's good. Uh, it's not my favorite. Let's just get right into it. I love B. Um, I didn't like it at first. I, again, felt like it smelled like body parts, like all used up and worn out. Like they've been, uh, what do they say? Road hard and put away wet. <laughs> uh, base notes, benzoin, musk. And I don't uh, like it right now either. <laughs> sandalwood, tonka, and vanilla. Um, heart notes, broom, heliotrope, mimosa, orange flower. Top notes are orange, ginger syrup, royal jelly accord. Even just the terms royal jelly kind of turn me off. And I think that kind of matches the experience I get from it sometimes. Like on the wrong day, I can be really alienated from it. I think I love the way this smells on my husband. I know he really likes it, but this is, it's, it's, um, it's that, that sweet, the way that honey can be sweet and certain, like that floral, syrupy, but it's, it's also like body sweetie sweet. Well, I always think like, the jar of honey always smells like like someone's lower back. I feel like it smells like a lower front. This is Snowy Owl. It's a new product from the zoologist family. I'm picturing it being like austere, cold, and like uh, smelling like winter. And then I, I really didn't want to like it when I found out one of the top notes was Lily of the Valley, because I think Lily of the Valleys are awful and they're invasive and they oh. are um, they do a number on my yard. Uh, I think I like Lily of the Valley. But I love it. Oh, you it do? smells so good. It's oh, weird. Okay. That I'm was so... a long way home. Oh, okay. It smells like, I don't know, fresh, watery, cucumbery. Yeah, totally. I mean, like things I like. I can, I could wear what this in the notes? autumn. What are the notes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The base notes are ambrette, cedar, um, uh, civet, uh, musks, oak moss, tonka, vanilla. Heart notes, iris, snowdrop, white rose, uh, frankincense, uh, galbanum, top notes, snow accord, lily of the valley, mint, and coconut. Yeah, I get the mint. I get the coconut. Um, maybe some coconut. I get the wintry sort of accords. Um, yeah, this is, to me, this is softer than a lot of them. This is one that I'm going to buy a larger bottle of. I'm obsessed with it. Uh, Beaver, it is so good. It smells like dirty river water in the best way. Chris Bartlett is the perfumer. Uh, base notes are amber, leather, castorium, dark woods, heavy musk, vanilla. Heart notes are damp air, dry wood, light musk, water. Top notes, fresh outdoor air, linden blossom, wood shavings, wild vegetation. Like yeah, I, I love the smell. Uh, it, it reminds me of when I traveled to the Yukon. Like every day I stepped out of the cabin, it was just beautiful smells everywhere. It just really makes me feel like I'm in a, like a like a pastoral dream. Yeah, I like it. I would never buy a bottle of it. I mean, I already have a small one, but I like it. Yeah. I also think this is soft too now. No, Am I losing it? No, no, no. It is soft, but it has a quirkiness to it that okay. I feel like really matches my personality. This is one I always want to smell. Nightingale. Nightingale. 
It's just fine. I'm okay. gifting this one to you. Okay. Let's smell it. Okay. Ooh, I love the color of the juice. Yeah. It's pinky. Okay, maybe I'm going to like this. Is it floral? Um, base notes. Ambergris, moss, incense, patchouli, sandalwood, oud, musk. Love it. Um, Japanese, plum blossom, mm -hmm. red rose, violet, bergamot, lemon, saffron. Love this. Love this. This is... Oh, I love it. Oh, I really love this. Uh, saffron, yes. I'm getting floral, sweet. It's a shampoo fragrance. Uh, it smells like just high quality, like jams and jellies and creams. Yeah, you saying how much you love this, I just, I'm looking at you thinking you're crazy. Well, it's not like this hasn't <laughs> happened before. Yeah. This smells so good to me. It, yeah. It's, I would buy a full bottle of this in a second. It like brings to my memory, like, what, like. It's like, the rose for me. It's aunties I had who I didn't like smelling. Yeah, I like to smell like a beautiful flower petal, so. Don't get me floral? No, I get floral, but not good floral. Oh, I get like a beautiful, like actual, like rose petal. Full bottle worthy, 100%. Soft, beautiful, tender even. This might be my favorite of all of them. I'm obsessed with it. Um, so naturally, you're gonna not like it. Um, no, I might really <laughs> like it. Uh, sloth, it is so good. It's funky and weird. It, it's, it makes me think of these wild, chaotic environments that a sloth would, would, would live in. Perfumer is Prin Lomros. Okay, I know um, who that is. Yeah. Uh, they've got their own, like, they've got like three of their own lines of fragrance. Base notes are hay, frankincense, myrrh, mushroom, oak moss. I get moss, mushroom. I get mushroom. <laughs> oak moss, vanilla, tonka. Um, what is tonka? It's a bean. Okay. Uh, heart notes, marigold, beeswax, anise, I totally get anise. Uh, jasmine, cumin, jadamansi. Top notes are chamomile, acai berry, uh, lavender, violet leaf. It's it's tasty, it's weird. I don't like it. It's earthy. I'm a fan, I'm a huge fan. I want to wear it all the time. Really? Yeah. I don't like it. Mm. You don't like it at all or you don't like it for you? No, obviously every single one of all of these perfumes are like amazing wonderful like olfactory experiences like so creative oh yeah like high art um but yeah i still like it i would never wear it and there's something in it that's smelling off to me which is turning me off i don't even know what it could be <sighs> yeah <laughs> you, wait you made a side that was not good but then i agreed with it like it was a good side yeah you did you were like <sighs> i guess and there's I a like, booziness right? in here so boozy mossy I just, yeah, it's good. This probably smells good on you. It smells so good on me. I feel, like, so confident and so sexy when I wear it. It's one yeah. of those things where, like, I feel like I'm a hit when I leave the house. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's getting well, a little bit funky, but it almost smells like chocolatey. Chipmunk. This is one of two new fragrances from Zoologist. Uh, when I ordered the sample set, it didn't come with it. I had to purchase it separately. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, they might do, like, a new set with the two new fragrances added to it. Um, this one's fine. It smells like other fragrances in the in the family, like musk deer or civet, uh, but just oh, not okay. as good. Okay. I remember thinking like there was three fragrances I couldn't tell apart. I just knew which ones I liked more, and this is kind of like a lesser version of other ones that we're going to get into. I wanted to like it because chipmunks are one of the most plentiful animals in our like local environment. Like they're urban wildlife. I see them all the time. So I just thought that's really cute. Mm -hmm. um, cartoon chipmunks come to yeah. mind. The notes are cedarwood, amaris, patchouli, vetiver, benzoin, apoponax, uh, animal notes. Uh, I'm not, do I have to say that word? Gu guayac wood? Guayac. Guayac wood. Uh, chamomile, hazelnut, fir balsam, oak absolute, earthy notes. Top notes are quince, pink pepper, red mandarin, cardamom, nutmeg. Um, yeah, it's nutty, it's foresty, it's sweet, it's really sweet. I'm getting like, yeah, sweet tobacco. Thanks. I don't get chipmunk though. These last couple are just sort of like, you know what I get? I just brown liquid. I'm just getting like a random, just... a random brown liquor. I love the, the smelling of like my natural odor blending into things. Um, I said sloth is my favorite. This competes for that title. I love elephant so much. It's one of the ones, the journey continues all day long, the long, like tons of longevity, like long lasting. By end of day, I feel like it, I smell differently, but in a, another great way. Yeah. Uh, this smells like wet concrete and sweetness. 
And if there is something buttery about this for me, like is there any tobacco in here? So uh, the base notes, amber, musks, patchouli, sandalwood. Uh, heart notes. Yeah, I'm smelling sandalwood. I get cocoa, coconut, mil milk, incense. There is milkiness to it. Jasmine, woody notes. Top notes are tree leaves, Darjeeling tea, and magnolia. Getting the tea for sure, 100%. Definitely getting that. I get the tree leaves. I get like a, like a, a kind of sticky leafy kind of yeah, yeah sticky leafy i like it a lot yeah yeah not much to say about this but it just smells really beautiful and it, it's nice it's, it's masculine it's very yeah it's butch it smells very different five hours later yeah does it's, it get sweeter in the dry down uh no no it doesn't it gets okay. like grassier for me okay okay um that was my experience of it all right elephant yeah. winner huge fan this is another one uh like chipmunk that was not included in the original 21 i had to buy it separately it's good. Um, I really want to smell this one, so I'm excited. Yeah, I love dragonflies. I think they're so cool. Ooh, um, looks, I think I'm going to like it. I, I do like it. Uh, and I feel like my attitude about it changes every time I put it on. Oh, I love it. I love yeah. it already. Oh, this is good. This is nice. From, from bottom to top, we've got rainwater, moss, patchouli, tonka, vetiver, vetiver benzoin, uh, <sighs> cashmaran, aquatic florals, geranium, uh, mimosa, Oris Absolute, Rose, Violet Leaves, Grapefruit, Basil, Angelica <sighs> Seed, Ginger, and Rice. I, I feel like I just smelled all of those things. Oh, uh, the rice is so in there. It smells like a rice paddy. It smells like a beautiful swamp. Like I love this. I really get the florals, the aquatic florals, a lot. Just, and the other florals in here. That's what I get. It, to me, this is like a, a watery, sweet, another... Kind of tender floral. Love this one. Dragonfly for me, it's full bottle worthy. Like Civet's one of the all-time classic animalic notes. Yeah. I think it's like the weird thing about Civet is it's like pulled from like some like beaver's asshole or something. Well, no, it's Civet. That's the animal. It's from a Civet's asshole. Not really though, not the asshole, but it's some gland. For something based on like a true like animalic sort of thing, I get like um again, like kind of like a cigar tobacco sweetness in this synthetic civet coffee incense leather uh labdanum oak moss vanilla vetiver carnation uh, heliotrope uh tuberose ylang ylang bergamot black pepper orange spices tarragon it's a good yeah, one it's good I, I think we have this in this travel spray but we i do. wouldn't need a full bottle of this and I like it, but actually I can't even smell it anymore, but I might be going nose blind to everything at this point. This one is so intense, and I'm still figuring out what I think about it. It's very orange. It's very burnt smelling. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm getting olives. Oh, oh, I got like, I was like, oh, I love it. Then I was like, oh, it's uh, <laughs> like a oh pungent. Yeah, it's so pungent. We've got resins, cedar, civet. Oh, yeah. Incense, leather, patchouli, vanilla, sandalwood, geranium, rose, jasmine, osmanthus, ylang ylang, bergamot, black pepper, laurel leaf, fir, nutmeg. This smells really good, actually, though. It's very um, butch, and it's, so butch. it's dark, I would say. Would you say it's dark, or is it, it, it kind is, of like in the middle? I don't know. I was having like a like a, like a, a sister moment and wore it on me when I was like wearing like skimpy clothes to go lie down in the park, and the whole oh. time I felt a distance between how I smelled and how I was dressed. I like the way it smells a lot. Yeah, um, it's good. Yeah, it is good. It's a good one. It's a good one. I already have it, so I don't need it. I think I'm going to really like the next three, and these are all three that I would put in my five set if I was buying a new five set. Okay. So let's smell them. First up, we have koala. Musk, amber, oak moss, vanilla, sandalwood, black tea, geranium, incense, Some spices, vetiver, eucalyptus, mimosa, menthol honey, and gumdrops. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, you do really get like, um, is there tea in this? No? No. Yes. Okay. No. I no, mean, there, I'm sorry. There's black tea. There's black oh, there's tea. A, oh, wow. Look I mean, at you. You're <laughs> such a sophisticated nose. So I'm getting like a eucalyptus tea. You know what eucalyptus reminds me of? What? The bathhouse. You've never been to a bathhouse? I haven't been to, I've, I've been to a party in Berlin, but it wasn't a bathhouse. Oh. Okay, well, I lived in a bathhouse, so. Uh, <laughs> and they stink of eucalyptus because of the steam room and the, like. Oh, uh, right, just, right. So eucalyptus. And Epsom salts. Yeah, so, but I'm getting tea 
<laughs> eucalyptus. Um, bathhouse trauma. Yeah, I, I'm having a PTSD attack. And if you don't know what a bathhouse is, and a lot of you straight people probably might not, um, you could look it up, and you know what? Then you still won't know. Because all I can say is the first time I went to a bathhouse, I thought it was illegal. Is this <laughs> legal? You know what? I like this, um, but... I actually wouldn't buy it. I know people who were searching for that right zoologist scent for themselves, and where they landed was on koala. So, I mean, I here's another thing too, is like my expectations are through the roof for so many things, especially if you hear they're great, yeah. then I think they're, you know, I, it's gonna be a masterpiece. And I mean, almost all of these are masterpieces, like in, in their own, unto themselves. Now I'm, I'm getting soapy black tea. I, I guess. See, I got soap that dries out my skin. Okay. I like it. I like it. Um, but you know what? This is, you're giving me this one. Yeah. So I'll probably, I'll, I'll sample this a little bit more. Okay, so this is a bit different than I thought it would be, but of course you get that initial eucalyptus blast. This one is fine. It's, it's powdery. It's just not me. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't smell anything. Patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, vetiver. Um, oh, I totally would have just like blind bought a full bottle of this because I wanted it. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, because you just think chameleon, holographic. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't smell anything on this one. Clove, coconut, jasmine, saffron, sea salt, bergamot, lemon, ylang, mango, pink pepper, violet leaves. On my skin, I can smell a little bit more, a little bit better. For all the notes that are in here, I can hardly smell anything. Very okay. excited to smell this one, hummingbird. It's a soft fragrance. Um, makes you think of hummingbirds, honestly. Um, Shelly Waddington is the perfumer. Notes include amber, cream, moss, sandalwood, musks, honeysuckle, honey, lilac, mimosa, peony, ylang, apple, cherry, citrus, plum, rose, violet leaf. So, I yeah. like this one a lot. Yeah. I like this. I like this. I need to like spend some more time with it. Honestly, right now, after like 22 cents, it's like I'm kind of done. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I like this one and I think I would, I could see me, I'm definitely going to wear it. Okay, so this is the last one. I love this one. You saved the best for last? I, one of the best for last. Okay, and this yeah. is like, definitely you're getting a full bottle of this. I'm getting a full bottle of this. Okay. Yes. But look, look guys, isn't this cool that like, here's oh, Greg yeah. who never wore any fragrance, not even in high school. No. Um, or ever, like never. No. Not I'm, even like when you like met your boyfriend, never. He hates fragrances. Okay. <laughs> he has a he has like a sensitivity. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no. 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 I mean, you know. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. So this is another animal that used to be uh, poached specifically for its animalic scents. Um, the perfumer is Pascal Gorin. It includes Ambrette Absolute, Oris Absolute, uh, Laos Oud, Australia Sandalwood, Sandback Jasmine Absolute, Patchouli, Cedarwood Atlas, Labdanum Absolute, Cardamom. Calamus oil and rose. I love it. It's. I think I'm, my nose isn't working anymore. Can I spray yeah. this on your hand? Yeah, yeah, okay. go for it. This is a really good fragrance. It's deep for me. It has layers. Yeah, um, but it's also medicinal, which like, I don't mind. But now, now it's going like uh, it's going like oaky whiskey to me now. Yeah, which are notes I really like. Okay, are they in I here? Like, I like Did you just say that? No. No, no, there's actually no alcoholic kind of smells in it. Okay. Um, but there are lots of woods. I mean, full disclosure, I literally can't hardly even smell anything. Else, so. <laughs> so we've been smelling a lot. That's it. So that's yeah. like, that's all of the zoologist fragrances that we just smelled. So like, just, you know, uh, this is just fun. We're oh, smelling yeah. them. Like, obviously these people do great work. Great work. Create amazing fragrances. Imagine growing up, never using fragrances, being an adult, not being into fragrances at all. And then your first, like, exposure to fragrances is a zoologist. That's pretty great. It is. It's very special. And it's, like, niche perfumery at its best. So really creative, really awesome. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. Thank you. I just want to thank everybody for watching. Encourage you to comment down below. I'd love to like hang out with you guys in the comments. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Are you subscribed? I am. I'm okay. a fan. All right. Thank you very much. One of the few people I know that actually watches my videos. 
Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Like this video and just tell me what you think um, about whatever you want. If you made it this far, you're a real one. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we just finished shooting the video, but I forgot I had something for Greg. So yeah, I got you something because I just wanted to say thank you for doing this. I um, actually ordered it. It's not here yet, but I got you like something that I have. So I'm just gonna give you mine. Um, and like, I'll keep yours. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not gonna be here till July 29th. Cool. So I don't know why that happened. Okay, so, so close so your eyes. Though. Okay. okay. Cool. It's this unrelated, to, unrelated to zoologist, but um, and also mine is like used. Okay. Like yours is used. <laughs> no, I bought yours used, mine used, because okay. they don't make They'll it make anymore. It. Here you uh -huh. go. <laughs> My passion for design by Barbara Streisand. This is this is real love. I thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, this is friendship right here. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah. So I mean, obviously, this is out of print. They don't make it anymore. I just got my Travis bought this for me for Christmas years ago. I loaned it to somebody who never gave it back. Um, and so uh, this Christmas, I bought another one because I just felt incomplete not having it because it's such a thoughtful gift from Travis. And I read this. I would read it at night in bed. It is so detailed and so just like you're just into the crazy of Barbara Streisand's <laughs> like just dedication to uh, design. And just also just to like what she's sort of like into, you're really gonna appreciate this. I am. Uh, so yeah. So thank you so much for coming to my channel for bringing all these zoologist fragrances, and I hope you enjoy that book. Oh, I know I will. A uh, solar uh, cecilicet, cecilate. Uh, Do you want to? Sure. Take that from the top. 